Mom, I do not care to meet this new guy that you're sleeping with. Blair, please watch the words that are coming out of your mouth. Why? It's true. You're just being stupid and insecure. Literally any guy could just compliment you and then bam, he's your boyfriend. It's really cheap. I'm going to act like I didn't just hear that. And besides, Franco is more than just a boyfriend to me. He's someone I genuinely care about and see a real future with. Oh, really? Just like all the others? How long until he's just another name on your long list of exes, just like Dad? Every relationship is a chance, Blair. Maybe if you would try understanding instead of judging, you'd see that. Besides, you haven't even met him. That is not happening. But Franco's been very patient and he's dying to meet you. Good. Let him die. Blair, I never force anything on you. It's Christmas. The one time it comes down to my happiness or the chance of us all being a family, you just shut it all down. Yeah, that's because families don't change members like clothes, Mom. That's him. Hi, sweetheart. And who might this be? Could this be the girl I heard amazing things about? I'm Franco. Nice to meet you. Blair, say hi. Hi, Blair. I'm Franco, your mom's new boyfriend. I know who you are. Okay, off to a rocky start, I get it. First meetings can be awkward. I didn't ask for this meeting. Blair, please. Uh, it's okay, Savannah. Look, I get it. You've been through a lot and here comes some new guy trying to be a part of your life. I won't force anything, but I genuinely want to be there for both of you. Oh, how noble of you. And how do you plan to do that, Ferenko? Win me over with empty promises? Uh, actually, I thought I'd start with dinner tonight. A way to introduce myself. Dinner. You're cooking. Yes, I am. Thought we have a nice meal together. Get to know each other a bit. Oh, okay. So you're gonna just waltz into our house on Christmas, play house, and cook a meal? Suddenly everything's perfect? Blair, that's enough. No, Savannah, it's okay. Blair has every right to her feelings. Yeah, I do! You think you can just come into our house on Christmas and cook a meal and suddenly everything's just gonna be fixed? You're just another guy that's trying to replace my dad, and I'm sick of it! No one can ever replace him! He's better than you! Hey, I'm sure he's a great man. And I don't think I can ever replace him. But how about you get to know me for me? You know, as my own person. No! You're just as dumb as my mom! You should have never tried to insert yourself into our lives! Blair! This is so stupid, I hate them! Ugh. Hey, I'm a little tied up at the moment and I can't come to the phone. Leave a message and I'll hit you back. Hey, what's up? Dorian, I need you. Can you come over? Of course. What happened? I'll, I'll explain when you get here. Can you please hurry? On my way. Just hang tight, okay? Okay. <sighs> I'm really sorry about her behavior, Franco. I don't sweat it. She's a teenager, and her feelings are totally valid. She keeps bringing up her dad and... I'm just getting so close to telling her the truth. I just don't know if she's ready yet. You don't need to do that right now. Let her get to know me first. And if that doesn't work, then we have plan B. She can be pretty mean. I can take it. You mean the world to me. And that means Blair means the world to me. That means taking a couple insults along the way. I'll be just fine. How'd I get so lucky? I'm the lucky one. <sighs> this is Savannah. Yeah? There's no one else who can cover? 
Okay, okay, yeah. I'll be there in half an hour. Bye. You get called in for work? I have hospitals, understaffed yet overbooked with patients. Mm. Typical Christmas. Well, better get going then, babe. You're gonna stick around? Oh yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Maybe some one-on-one -on -one time with Blair would help. Maybe she'll be calling us a family by the time we get back. You really don't have to. Trust me, honey. I want to. Good luck at work. Thanks, bye. bye. Well, I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. And I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. And I just want you for my own. More th Peter, is that you? Did you forget something? Babe? Who are you? I'm the guy cooking dinner. But you can call me Franco. Charmed, I'm sure. Blair's told me all about you. All good things, I hope. Let's just say she's made her feelings clear. You know, I'm what you might call Blair's anchor. I'm the one she calls when things go sideways. Well, it's good she has someone. We all need an anchor. Look, just don't bring Blair down. All right? Otherwise, you're gonna have to deal with me. I'll try not to. Hey, talk to me. What's wrong? <laughs> it's just... Franco, mom's newest attempt to ruin our original family. It's just... Whenever she does this, it... Reminds me of everything that we lost. I met him, by the way, as I was walking in. Gotta say, I'm not a fan. There's... Something about him I just can't put my finger on. Really? Because I was starting to think it was just me being irrational. Nope. Definitely not just you. And if anybody makes you think that, they're gaslighting you. There's an energy about him I just don't like. But hey, I'm on your side, always. Thank you. It's just, I miss dad. And it feels like with Every new man that mom brings home, she's trying to replace him. Hey, you and I are a team. If you want, I can think of a few ways to get rid of Franco. I'm listening. I say we punk him. We break his soul so badly that he never dares to even think about contacting your mom ever again. <laughs> Dorian, you're so wicked. I love that about you. I love you too, B. Always. So guys, dinner's ready. Showtime. <laughs> ah. I hope you both like what I've prepared. Spaghetti carbonara with a side of salad. Simple, but classic. Mm. Groundbreaking. <laughs> Real original. What's next? Store-bought cake. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's homemade. Cake. So, Franco, how many families have you cooked for before us? Just my own, and now Savannah and you. By the way, Dorian and I have some exciting news. <laughs> I wish my mom were here, but I guess we'll just have to tell you. Yeah. We're expecting a baby. <laughs> <coughs> 
<laughs> what? Yeah, you heard right. Isn't it exciting? Uh, I, I mean, congratulations. Um, but aren't you both a bit young? What can you say? Life comes at you fast, Franco. You know, kind of how boyfriends waltz into your life expect to be part of the family. Exactly. And I thought, well, since my mom loves to change her partners like seasons, why couldn't we have a couple little surprises of our own? Mm. <laughs> of course. Um, well, congratulations. Uh, I'm, I'm sure your mom wishes you the best. Wonderful. You know, we're thinking this is just the beginning for us. <laughs> we're thinking next we'll get, I don't know, matching tattoos that only we can see. <laughs> yeah, and elope to Vegas. <laughs> but don't worry, we'll send you a postcard. I'd only be upset if he didn't. Uh, I must say, this is all moving rather fast. It's like we said, life comes at you fast, mm -hmm. Franco. We're just following in my mom's footsteps. Point taken, but getting married and having a child is a huge responsibility. Are you sure you're both up to it? No more ready than you are to be a stepfather. Besides, wouldn't it be fun? Our kid can call you Grandpa Franco. <laughs> <laughs> huh. well, I must say, I like the sound of that title. I'm for it. <sighs> Another thing to check off my bucket list if I'm gonna be a grandpa. <laughs> what do we do? He's not phased. Babe, relax. We're just getting started. That must be your mother. This is where the real fun begins. <laughs> You're not Savannah. Oh, were you expecting my lousy, stupid, and cheap ex-wife? Excuse me? You're Ryan? Daddy, you're home! <laughs> Daddy is home, sweetheart. I came as soon as I got Dorian's text. Good looking out, son. Aye, aye, sir. Now let's get you out of here. Oh, Dad, he's such a terrible, terrible man. Oh, I don't know how Mom could be so irresponsible and let him inside our house. Oh, I know, sweetie, I know. I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. I'm glad you got your good judgment from me and not your brainless mother. <laughs> I mean, you had the good judgment to pick a fine young man here in Dorian. Ah. <laughs> now let's get out of here. They're not going anywhere. In fact, if I call the police, I think they'd be very interested to find out that you broke your court order. You don't scare me, pretty boy. In fact, you'd be best advised to stay out of our business. Or better yet, stay out of our lives. Yeah. It's only a matter of time before Savannah just tosses you to the side. I bet she's got her eye out for your replacement even as we speak. That <laughs> is not true. Oh, please. You're temporary, just like all the rest. Don't take it too personally, Franco. You were just the entertainment for the week, our daily dose of comedy. <laughs> Can't say I blame my ex, though. She always did love a bargain. <laughs> Budget cuts. <laughs> <laughs> Enough fun for one day, Frankie, baby. We're out of here. Oh, uh, let me give you a little free advice first. Don't get too attached to fleeting things. Come on, kids, let's go. <laughs> Maybe I'm not cut out for this. You're so rude. And you smell like beer. Beer! Thanks for saving us back there, Dad. Uh, yeah, Mr. Peterson. Franco is such a joke. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Come on, let's go to my place. Dad, your car's kind of messy. Oh yeah? If this is such a mess, then how 
would I know where this is? <laughs> Mr. Peterson, are you sure that's a good idea? Yeah, Dad? Will you two just shut up? Since when did you become the police? I just saved you from your mom's stupid boyfriend. Finally spend Christmas with my family. <laughs> oh, Dad? Get out of the car. Oh, Get out of the car, look at this loser. <laughs> Get out what? of the car! Hey! 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 hey. hey. <clears throat> um, hey. Thanks for saving us back there. I don't know where we would have been if you hadn't. Yeah. We seriously misjudged you. I mean, I didn't know Blair's parents broke up because her father was an alcoholic. That's not all. She divorced your father because she wanted to protect you, Blair. She didn't want you to see him in that light. But things became dangerous for the two of you near the end of that relationship. She had to get a restraining order against him because he got violent when he got drunk. I had no idea. Honestly, I'd much rather have a dad like you than him. I mean, you still protected me, even after all of the mean stuff that I said about you. Yeah, and not all of it was true. I mean, we were just trying to scare you off, get you running, and never look back. I figured. What in the world is going on? Mom, I'm sorry, Mom. Oh, I was wrong about Franco. Okay, honey, I'm glad you've come to your senses, but why is your dad tied up on our living room floor? It's a long story. Let's tell her over some eggnog. It's Christmas. 